To make energy useful, it must be converted into work. To create work, mass must move. That mass can be electrons flowing, such as in light bulbs and computer monitors. It can be rotating coils within a magnetic field, such as a dynamo. It can be a rotating coil within an electromagnetic field, such as an alternator. It can be electrons flowing in a coil within a magnetic field, such as a DC motor. Without the movement of a mass, be it subatomic, atomic, or macro, no work is performed and potential energy remains potential. For a machine to perform work, it must convert one form of energy into another form of energy, kinetic energy. And there is always a loss of energy, usually in the form of heat, during that transformation. That is why perpetual motion machines cannot work. Most designs of perpetual motion machines rely on a gravity well, such as Earth, as the original method of extracting kinetic energy from a mass via movement to perform work. The builders then hope to use that work to lift the mass up in the gravity well back to its original state, or higher, to perform yet more work. And that's the problem. To lift that mass up to its original state requires more work than the kinetic energy within the mass being lifted. One must add energy to lift that mass back up to its original height in the gravity well. One may use a magnetic field to convert kinetic energy into electrical energy, which is how humans power their lights and their refrigerators, computers, camcorders, and bread toasters. Nikola Tesla is to thank for that, and if he had not placed his patents into the public domain, he would have died a multi-billionaire instead of dying deep in debt and starving to death. There is another field of energy that exists everywhere in the universe. It is made up mostly of electromagnetic energy, and it fills the vacuum of space. Space-time has a topology. Total vacuum is filled with a quantum gravity foam that can be likened to the head of a foam on a hearty L or beer. This foam is made out of electromagnetic radiation quanta, and that quanta cannot be at rest. It must always oscillate. Just like with atomic and subatomic particles, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle says we cannot know exactly where that quanta is. That means its energy state cannot be zero. The zero point field is the sea of quanta that fills all of space-time, with an energy value at its lowest possible state without violating a quantum version of the uncertainty principle. In my diagram, the light green ball is quanta. The blue arc is a graduation of energy quantity. There is a tiny gap between the quanta and the bottom of the arc. That gap represents the quantum version of the uncertainty principle. If the quantum version of the uncertainty principle were somehow nullified, the quanta would be at the bottom of the energy scale, meaning zero energy, and we would know exactly where the quanta is. That would also violate the laws of quantum physics, so this state is impossible. This is a diagram showing quanta well above the lowest possible energy quantity. If there was a zero plus field, then we could expect to use that field to convert one form of energy into another. I suspect, but I do not know, that this diagram could represent the electromagnetic fields that we commonly use to convert e kinetic energy into electricity every day. There are many people who claim they have already extracted energy from the zero-point field, and they build all sorts of devices and diagrams making that claim. They are either lying or mistaken. In my next video, I think I'll mention one example. And if they ask you to invest in their invention, then you know goddamn well they are lying. Since the quanta in the zero-point field are already at their lowest possible energy states, they cannot go to lower energy states, therefore they cannot perform work. That is, their movement can no longer perform work. 
they are already oscillating at their lowest state. That energy cannot itself be converted into another form of energy without first pumping energy into the zero-point field. The question then becomes, can we use the zero-point field to convert kinetic energy or chemical energy, nuclear energy, or electrical energy into a different form of energy? The answer is, perhaps, but why should we even try? We cannot extract what little energy there is within the zero-point field because the quanta are already at their lowest energy state possible. We cannot make it into any lower energy state. Since we already use magnetic fields to convert energy into different forms, there's no reason to use the zero-point field. Some physicists are researching the zero-point field in the hope that they can find high-energy state quanta embedded within the zero-point field. They also wish to learn if inertia is a product of mass itself, or a product of the zero-point field acting upon mass moving through the field. If inertia is extrinsic to mass, and therefore a product of the zero-point field, we may one day find a way to negate the zero-point field around a mass. If that is ever discovered, that discovery will be worth trillions and trillions of dollars. And it would also radically and fundamentally alter applied technology, transportation, power generation, and human society itself. Personally, I think humanity will exterminate itself, exterminate itself long before we make that discovery, if it is possible. Yes, I am optimistic. <laughs>